You know that in the air, we are talking about uh, not too young to run bill just last week uh, when it was signed into law by the president. And issues that concern this, before you begin to talk about people getting into the real politics, mm -hmm. there is a grooming area right. where they are trained. So this morning we will we'll be looking at student leadership today. How do we groom, groom young people to become part of leadership, to make positive impact in our society, and also to set a pace for a better society? Um, we have them in the studio here to discuss the issue. And um, sitting uh, here is the UNICEF uh, Student Union Government President, Comrade Ikenna. Okay. Yes, welcome. And also, we have a youth advocate, Comrade Kerian Ozemena. You're yeah, welcome. Comrade Kerian is actually the director of socials okay. of the same uh, student union yeah, government. Yeah, yeah. It's so good to have you in the studio. You light up our studio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Thank so you. yes, we want to talk about student yeah. leadership. And uh, we felt that being in the position, you are sitting, you are, in fact, you're the government in UNICEF. You know, we felt that we should talk to the people that should know. Now, student leadership is pivotal when it comes to every political system. If you don't have uh, concrete trainings at that level, that means that we wouldn't have proper leadership at the top. And now, when we talk about corruption in Nigeria, this, that, politics is dirty, it tells me, is it possible that in schools that we do We'll practice dating politics as well. I want you to react to that, um, SUG president, please. Okay, Tell us, um, is it dirty? Um, I would say that it depends on the individual. You know, we have individual differences. Sure. Depending on your mindset, mm -hmm. the reason why you came out for a particular post. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I believe um, dirty politics, um, the fact I know Godfather regime, mm -hmm. maybe um, you, you didn't plan on vying for any elective position, mm -hmm. but because you have somebody mm -hmm. that will propel you, the person will just take you from where you are to the seats, and then it will make you to be corrupt because you'll dance to the person's turn. So it's everywhere, but it depends on your mindset. Mm -hmm. If you if you would want to do it, you do it. If you don't want to, you leave it. So, um, are you saying you can get to that level of uh, administration without getting dirty? Mm -hmm. Um, yes, you sure you can. Okay. Mm, tell us how. <laughs> okay, how okay, you know? okay. Yeah, um, I I once had a friend um in secondary school then um mm. by the name Casey. Okay. You know he's the person that everybody likes. His kind of personality, mm -hmm. everybody li likes him. So you wouldn't um if that kind of person comes out to vie for a particular position. When you see him, you won't even, um, how, how will I put it? You won't even try to compete with the person because you know that he's the man of the people. Mm -hmm. um, I, I also had a friend, a one time SUG president, University of Port Harcourt. Um, he's now vying for the post of House of Assembly. We call him the boy is good. He's the only person that I knew from Igbo here that, that, uh, that once had the opportunity to be the SUG president of University of Port Harcourt. Amazing. Despite the tribalism there. So his personality got him to that position, and his name won't be forgotten, has not been forgotten in the University of Port Harcourt. So you're saying that it's about the worth of your personality? Yes. You know, that when you're worth something, that you don't yeah. need anyone to make you dirty. You don't need anyone. And then, um, um, I would want to add, um, mm -hmm. depending on your campaign strategies, mm -hmm. now, I, I believe that when campaigning, you, would, you, would, you, you have to settle the people around you so that when you get into the position you have debts mm -hmm. that's one, one thing because uh, many well when you bring in about the settlement yes. you just use another, another very <laughs> nice word, word settlement you know? what is settlement yeah. because now, some of us believe those okay. settlements are actually the issue that makes you dirty <laughs> now um just like um don't 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 know trump mm -hmm. because i learned from him his campaign he he let me say he Pioneered, he propelled his campaign. Okay, you understand. After he, his campaign, he settled everybody so that he, he you won't have the, the nerves to say that I did this, so I'm meant to have this because he has already paid you for the work done. So he has the right to put anybody that he wants to put, not that you helped him in his campaign. Okay, okay. I'm saying. you know, we are focusing on, I, I would like you to come in. Okay. We are focusing on student leadership okay. as a brooding uh, uh, ground, ground yes, yes. for people that are coming to politics tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. We have students who maybe they collect money from parents, from uncles. Mm -hmm. How do they say to people who collect? <laughs> Why can't they? Okay. Why can't they? <laughs> Number one is that um, politics is not a, a, a personal business. Okay. Understand. So uh, if you are coming out for any post, if you are vying for any post, you have to, you, you first have a vision why okay. you are really coming out for this post. Understand. It's not maybe if somebody is pushing you, that is where the corruption will start. Yeah. Understand. But if you are in for this, if you know, if you have vision and if you really want to work, mm -hmm. you need to put in everything. It might not necessarily be money. You need to meet people, convince them, make them to understand that you really have something good that you, that you, that you give to them, understand. It's not uh, uh, why, why politics is now being this way, that everybody's, everybody's mindset is just centered on the money you are going to get. Mm -hmm. and, and at times, don't blame them. OAU, some, uh, some, I think last year, the vice president of OAU SUG was beaten and thrown out of an ACE committee. The ESCO had, um, I think, the, after the budget for the year, the SUG president budgeted 1.5 million for phone calls alone. And when students are saying this kind of thing, you come tomorrow and tell you it's not about money. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <come>. <laughs> I want to convince you with my ideas. I don't yeah. think they will buy into that idea. Yeah. So when you talk about students, mm -hmm. do you think the system is cleaner? Mm -hmm. to yes, set in motion level. people who have a better value system that will come into the system and make it clean. Okay. Um, the thing is that most of the things that is happening now uh, is, is based on the, the foundation. Okay. okay. Understand? It's based on the foundation. I, I believe that, I don't know, Nigeria did not really start well. Let me use Nigeria mm -hmm. as a case study. And now everybody is clamoring, the youth, the youth needs to, we need oh, to yes. be there, we need to be there. But you as a youth, what have you really done? How, if you know, if you think you can really change the situation, why not own up and come out and, you know, come out and this is what I want to do. You have to go for, you need to start from somewhere. Start from the normal place, like as a student leader now, I, I need to start from this place as a, a, the director of social house. I know where my, where my, where my uh, aspect lies understand okay. so you need to know where you can actually work well know yourself know your talent know where you can fit in if you are going to be the president you know how you should know that mm -hmm. i know i can't be the president i know I, i'm a social person and i uh, i will go through that direction as director of socials and i know that is how i can be able to help on my own part and god willing i'm trying my best possible in my school unisic oh. understand yeah. and I know after, after being the director of social and music, mm -hmm. it will also give me an edge to come out. And, you know, because I am trying so that people will actually see me, know that I am really good in this, mm -hmm. and I can really affect uh, uh, the student's life and people's life. And then they understand. can trust you with something bigger. And they can trust bigger. me with something bigger. Okay, yeah. let me ask you a question before yeah. we go back to the president. Yeah. This is between us. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. no <laughs> <laughs> Did you play that when you got paid? No, not really. Not at all. Uh, not at all. So you got this? <laughs> yes. No, no, no. I'm the director of socials, understand? Okay. Yeah. At least for you to be the director of social, number one thing is that you need to be social. Okay. Understand? I started being social even when I was in year and one. And people that contested against you were it's social. It's not like they were, they, maybe they were not social enough. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I want to touch on something that is very, very sensitive. Okay. You know, because apart from the fact that we're talking uh, of the possibility of um, there being a bit of dirtiness, because mm -hmm. we look at our leaders up there and we're like, they are products of the same system. Mm -hmm. They went to university. Some of them were SUG SUG presidents. SUG presidents. And then Most they come them. out to the society, and then we're seeing this. You know, when they were in school, we wouldn't have known. Yes. Yeah, because it's not a big space. But when you come out with that training, you know, you, 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 you affect the whole of Nigeria with the same, you know, trainings that you have. So I feel that to an extent, it may have been cultivated at the breeding ground. That's why they said train up a child in the way. way, you know. So if the training is wrong, that's when you have people getting up there and we're seeing something else. But now talk about God for that reason. It's another aspect, you know, it's not always because somebody wants to give you money to sponsor your campaign. Think of uh, the university system, maybe the leadership of the university saying, um, we want to put this person 
because and we know that this other contestant will affect us, will go against us. We want to put a loyal person. Mm -hmm. So, in that case, do you think that that is also playing out in Nigerian universities? Is 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 there a system where you know young people are given or allowed to head the students because they are friends of the university management? Okay, now I would. I want to start by commending my institution first, Namde Azikiwe University, because um, they don't practice such. Um, when I was campaigning, we were, we were about around nine. Okay. Nine. And then we went for security screening. And during that security screening, that's when um, the university, if they are co corrupt, that, that's when they will screen out people that they wouldn't want mm -hmm. to be. Now, um, but surprisingly, we all qualified. So meaning that we were all given equal chances okay. to mm -hmm. contest for the office of the president. Now, um, they don't encourage such in my university. Yeah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm sure of that. I, I, I don't know of other universities, but on Nam Jazikiwa University, everything is fair. The election is fair. Now, anybody that you see on that seat, mm -hmm. worth it, because he fought for it and he got the mandate from the students. Now, um, sign of embezzlement, when you spend too much during your campaign, it's a sign of embezzlement. And that, that's why the school banned um, colored posters, colored okay. flyers, billboards. And when, 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 you, when you spend too much money in mm -hmm. your campaign, you you'll be called. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. You'll find out well, when you don't spend much, when you enter the seats, money won't be the first thing. You wouldn't write the check of 1.5 million for a for no, phone call. <laughs> <For phone calls. laughs> so um, that's it. I would say that Nam Jersey Kiwa University, that they are really encouraging. It's, let me say, I've learned a lot. For five months I've been in office. They've trained me. They gave me a high jump. Mm. That's it. Um, you'd want to do a particular pro program. you think that it would be easy. But for you to bring the idea to the school management, for them to approve it, you see that it's not easy. So it will make you to be strong as a leader for you not to make the decisions drastically. Mm -hmm. So um, corruption in UNICEF when it comes to students' leadership, I would say that it's mi 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 minimal. Okay. Um, it's not high, mm -hmm. if, not, if, if, if not zero. Oh. Hey, you know when people in position speak like this, they are <laughs> convinced that these things are right. Until you begin to look into them. <laughs> I don't know whether it's the same with you or what you are telling us is also what is in practice. But what I want to ask now, you've been in, you said you've been in office for five months. Yes. There were systems that brought you up. Mm -hmm. you, apart from other projects you're doing uh, as the student president, what are you doing to ensure that what you've said is sustained beyond your government? That tomorrow you don't, you as a person, don't bring, this, bring somebody in and tell the student, this is the person who I want to succeed me, and set up the missionaries to suit such a person. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, or what will you do? Okay, um, I would say that I just play a party. I play... Uh, 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 it's uh, not about what... Uh, okay. What I'm trying to say, ask is, okay. not just about what you will do, but the system you are creating. Mm -hmm. Because and if, if, if mm -hmm. you can decide, I want to play a party and ensure that, this thing is done right. When you leave, another person comes in and do, he doesn't want to go your way. Yeah. What are you doing? What are the policies you are putting in place to ensure that the system, we are talking about system, that it is sustained beyond you? Um, I would say not really. Not really because um, the forum I set up, mm -hmm. okay. um, presidential de debates, mm -hmm. we are all aspirants would come, not like a manifesto day, would come and then they will be interviewed okay. to see your capacity. Just like what happens, we have the governorship debate in Anambra. Okay. okay, so that's what I'm looking for, but it, it has not yet been approved. Mm -hmm. We would want to start from there. I've been receiving calls, um, I would want to be the president, um, oh. this and that. Then I'll be like, okay, <laughs> as, as, right? for endorsement. <laughs> so I, I would say, okay, as the spirit leads you, <laughs> no problem. Uh, I, I wish you success. That's it. So I, 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 I wouldn't want to get involved mm -hmm. in the next election that would co come up. At least it will make the, the system still be 
um, as neutral as, as neutral possible. as possible. Yes. Yeah. Now let's come to you, uh, the director of socials. Okay. Um, regarding student leadership, you know, I want to know: Do student leaders have time to lead? Okay. Um, yes, even because he just said, if you heard him <laughs> right, he said that sometimes you are pursuing a program and they'll give you a high jump. Yes. So in that kind of high jump, you, you will you know which is which. You know, maybe oh, before you, you know yes. the exam is, I know you need it very well. Yeah. It's actually my alma mater. Oh. You know, so you'll be in school and before you know it, the exam has come. So <laughs> I, I, I wonder, that was why I actually did not okay. involve. Yeah, so tell me, do you read? Okay, even the Bible says that there's time for everything. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Understand? So you should be able to decipher or to, 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 to know the time you are supposed to, you as a student, you're not supposed to miss lectures, that's number one. Okay. Understand? No matter your office, no matter anything, you're not supposed to miss lectures and uh, uh, exam period, you are, you are supposed to be very, very serious. That you are, that you are a student leader that doesn't mean that you are not a student. Do you Understand. miss lectures yourself? Because I, you okay. know people that know you are watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I know. Especially okay. as responsibilities of your office affect yes. your lecture. Mm -hmm. Maybe not because of family issues, but okay. how does your responsibility as director of social yes. affect your academic yourself. engagement? Because you said you're not supposed to, as if you're preaching to people. <laughs> so I want you to bring it home. Okay, um, thank you. I, I try my best possible not to miss lectures, mm -hmm. but sometimes... You have, you, there, there, there will be an issue that will come up, but still you need to take permission. Okay. Understand uh, that, that, that there are some issues that are very critical that you need to attend to. Mm -hmm. Understand, you know, uh, you are working for, the, for students. Understand, so anytime you have issues, like for instance, there was a time uh, SAS people came and they, and they took some of our students. We, we, had to, we had to go to that place. We, we were there for like two days or so before they release those students. We missed lectures during this time, understand? But we are not doing it just, we are just doing it to protect the students, mm -hmm. understand? So in issues like this, we, we had to, understand? <laughs> we cannot but miss lectures. But that notwithstanding, you, as a student leader, you have no right to miss lectures, understand? 75% attendance, they take, it, they take it serious in school. You know, in why, you know why I'm asking? Because I've seen cases where somebody is a student leader, and you graduate, maybe somebody that was my mate. I left school in 2013. And I come in 2014, 2015, and the person is still there, writing carryover. And the person was my leader. I and see. I'm like, what is this? Okay, I would, I would want to add to that. Okay. Um, you know, you bought the phone. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you brought out yourself to vie for an elected proposition. Now, I believe that you, you've already known what you are going up against. Mm -hmm. um, so um, for you to be a student, um, your academic is your number one priority. Sure. That's number one. Every other thing is sec secondary. The vice chancellor will tell you that. Your lecturers will tell you that. Your own parents will tell you that. That your academics is your number one priority. That every other thing is sec secondary. Mm -hmm. As as the SCG president, I won't lie. I miss le lectures. That's it. But that that doesn't make me not to be serious with my academics. I combine them. And it, um, let me say. Um, Using your proposition, you don't have to use your position as an excuse to fail a course because there are, there are some students that engage in so many other things, some businesses. There are, there are some students that, that, that train themselves in school. Mm -hmm. They do other things apart from their academics that also takes part of their time. So when you use your position as an SCG president, as an SCG director of socials, vice president, to, to make your GP drop, you're on your own. Because I, I, I would say it's, 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 it's not okay at all. Me, as an SCG president, I enroll in three things. Um, I'm an SCG president. I, I, participate, I, I practice politics in school. I study applied microbiology and brewing. I also study Chinese language. Okay. And I combine the three. Cop, um, I, um, um, I, I, didn't, I, I, I didn't say other minor, minor things that I do. But yet, I still attend lectures. Um, to an extent, I write my exams very well, but I read my book. You know, I, I don't know you well enough, I but can. I can say that you look very intelligent. Is it the spectacle? <laughs> no, before, no, 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 about I can even remove it. <laughs> so, like, so, not, look, uh, one thing, one thing about um, when you want to achieve something, mm -hmm. 
depending on the kind of efforts you put in it, mm -hmm. it will be achieved. I believe that nothing is impossible. Yeah. When, I, when, I, when I wrote in Chinese language, I, I, I was afraid, how, how can I learn this? Even before I became the SDG president, mm -hmm. but I found myself in two months, three months, I started speaking. Oh, nice. I've even got, gotten paid to an extent because I went to work. Wow. So, um, you find out that once you call this thing, you want to achieve this particular thing. Mm -hmm. And again, you can't vie for an elective position if you are not, if you are not sound. Yeah. Because yes. there, 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 there is a particular GP that sure. you must have. You must, you must mm -hmm. be, uh, your, your second class would be, would be superb. Mm -hmm. So that even if it will drop, it won't, it, it won't drop that much. Yeah. So I would advise anybody that wants to be a student leader, know your, your um, let me say, your stand in your academics. If your GP is shaking, mm -hmm. I wouldn't advise you, no matter how don't good you are, it. don't even try to vie. Don't even Highest, try. advise the person that is vying. <laughs> Okay, yes, we've been speaking with the um, Student Union Government President of UNISIC, uh, Comrade Ikenna Iwebike, and of course his Director of Socials, Comrade Kirian Ozemena, on the weekend show today. Um, definitely, uh, we'll have to talk about something related to this. We've been talking about student leadership today. And they've been giving us insights on their experience so far. He's been five years, five months rather, okay. in the business. And I'm <laughs> sure that they have enough experience, you know, so that if you possibly are considering um, being a student leader or you, you're a parent out there and you're thinking about this, possibly your child has told you something about that, um, you can then have an insight on what it's like. We also looked at it from the larger perspective, the national uh, question, you know, of how our politicians are bread and we can find that they have good things to say yes we uh, tell me i want to know do you regret the choice of being a student leader no mm. no 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 not at all Kieran, no. you don't no not at all that's at all i don't okay but anyway <laughs> yes we hope that um, definitely that you'll be the next crop of um, politicians who will change people will no longer say that politics is a dirty game you know when you get there well, that. <laughs> yes. and then in closing june 12 means a lot to nigerians we know of course that june 12 is the new democracy day you of course you've heard dave you heard yes. but then june 12 means a lot a lot more to unisic sud you want to hear about that okay um talking about june 12 a very important date mm -hmm. Um, is a date that uh, we fixed our 25th anniversary. SUG UNISIC, Student Union Government, Namde Ajikiwe University, it's 25 years old. Wow! So I'm lucky to be um, the, <laughs> the 25th president. He's also lucky to be the 25th director of social. And we are lucky to be the 25th. <laughs> <laughs> so um, <laughs> immediately on, on our assumption to the office, we mm -hmm. deemed it fit necessary to um, have the Silver Jubilee anniversary celebrated, okay. at least um, to bring back old memories. Yes. It will serve as an anniversary le lecture. Okay. The, the preparations has already been made, mm -hmm. and then I've contacted and um, past SUG presidents, 25 of them, okay. that would come back from wherever they are. All alive and strong. All alive and strong. Wow. That's and nice. doing well too. Mm -hmm. right. so I've, made, I've made contact with them, I've invited them, then they will be coming. The, the topic show shows in for that day is 25 years of student unionism, focus youth in politics of Nigeria. Okay. After several articulation of ideas by my executive, the legislative arm, and the judiciary, we came up with that topic when the bill of not too young to run was passed oh, in a number of states. Very timely, right? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So um, we said, okay, let's focus on youth in politics of Nigeria. Because since my childhood, I've been, I've been, I've been hearing um, we are the leaders of tomorrow. Yeah, so <laughs> we are the leaders of tomorrow, and I believe. Um, no, my own tomorrow is here. It's not right. <laughs> because I'm, I'm a leader. Mm -hmm. Right from my year one, I was a coach rep from um, in my class. Mm -hmm. From coach rep, I emerged to SCG president. Yeah. So I've started leading. So that you, you, you hearing leaders of tomorrow, you mustn't be be the, the president of a country or your governor of a state before, mm -hmm. before you accept that you're a leader. Mm -hmm. And in, in a, a, a small organization, when you are the chairman of the organization or the president of the organization, you are a leader. So your leadership has started. So I believe that mine has, has started and I will continue from here. Okay, just tell us grow. about the event. Now the what event, the event um, like you said, 
And like I've said before, it will, it will hold on the, on the 12th day, day of June, June Tuesday, 12. June 12th. Mm -hmm. And I've already talked about the to topic. Okay. We, we have um, uh, a keynote speaker um, by the name Honorable Emeka Igwe. Mm -hmm. He's going to speak to us. And then by um, another speaker by um, the chairman of Council of Past SDG Presidents okay. will be coming to, to speak to us too. Oh, on well. it. So I want to use this avenue to invite everybody, mm -hmm. everybody <laughs> that is watching this particular program now, that you're also invited and preparations for your arrival have been made oh, too. Okay. And we look forward to seeing you guys there. So that we should celebrate with the SEG of UNISIC as they mark 25 years of student leadership in the university. And that's on June, June 12th. 12. So yes, our new democracy day means a lot more to all of us. Well, that's just it on this segment. Thank you so much you. for coming. Now we've been talking with uh, the present student union government uh, president of UNISIC. That's Comrade Ikenna Igwebike. Thank you so much for coming on the weekend show. And we've had um, the director of socials, Comrade Kiran Ozem. And I thank you so much for coming. Alright, the weekend show continues in just a moment. Thank you.